How to live in a car, van, or RV, and get out of debt, travel, and find true freedom. A very popular RV living book written by Robert Wells. A life with no regrets. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines. Sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. Mark Twain. When I look back at my life, being forced to live in a van was one of the very best things that ever happened to me. The only thing better was the birth of my children. Before then, I had spent my whole life doing what I was told. I got married, got a job, and had kids. Week after week, year after year, decade after decade, I went to a job I hated, worked with people I didn't like in order to buy things I didn't want. I was a living embodiment of Thoreau's quote, that most men lived lives of quiet desperation. I went to work, came home tired, ate dinner, watched TV, and then did it again the next day. I lived for my free time on the weekends, but there was no free time. There was always things that had to be done around the house and errands that had to be run. On the few weeks I got off a year, we went on vacation and tried to cram a year's worth of fun into those few days. My life was a boring, drab routine of doing what I was told I was supposed to do. I knew I was not happy, but it never occurred to me that I could be. It just wasn't an option. Then came the divorce. Up till then, my life hadn't been happy, but at least it wasn't bad. It was acceptable. For a long time after the divorce, my life was really bad. But after I moved into the van, everything started to change. I had extra money, so I started working only 32 hours a week. Every weekend was a three-day weekend, which allowed me to spend more time with my kids and tremendously helped my mental outlook on life. As soon as I could, I took early retirement and now live in my camper. Today, I only work for six months a year as a campground host in the summer and live for free in the desert in the winter. I like my job, I like the people I work with, and I only buy the things I really want. At last, I am truly happy. You've got a lot of choices. If getting out of bed in the morning is a chore and you're not smiling on a regular basis, try another choice. Stephen D. Woodhull. Are you smiling on a regular basis? Are you happy or are you just going through the motions that society requires of you? Answer these questions honestly. Are you happy or are you just treading water, only enduring life? Is your life full of joy or is it full of stress? Do you love your job and wake up wanting to get to work or is it a drudgery? Are you sick of the constant competition at work, in traffic and even for parking spaces? Do you ever look around? your house and say, where did all this stuff come from? Why do I have it? I feel like I'm in prison. And you keep going to the store to buy even more. Do you like fighting traffic, breathing bad air, spending 50 weeks a year looking forward to two weeks of happiness? When those two weeks come, do they just fly by, leaving you no more happy than you were before? If you don't like your answers, maybe it's time to make a different choice. Unfortunately, for most people, an acceptable present is better than an unknown and risky future. The reason is very simple. Fear holds them back. Being afraid is reasonable. Living in a vehicle is so unconventional, it seems very risky. But when all the problems are addressed in a simple, straightforward way, you will see that the risks are actually very minor. In fact, the single greatest risk most of us will face is that when we come to the end of our lives, we will look back and see that we never really lived at all. I believe that is one of the greatest tragedies that can befall a human being. I pray that doesn't happen to you. To help you overcome your fear, let's look at the wonderful rewards that make vehicle living worth any risk. For more information about this exciting and informative book written by Robert Wells, click the link in the description below this video.